Now we have already seen what is meant by DD transition. Now most important thing. Now we are going to see what is the effect of a ligand in the on, uh, on the complex or the color of this proper transition elements. Let us write the uh, heading effect of ligand on color property of transition elements done so you would have seen in your uh, lab just it's basic example copper sulfate crystals right and copper sulfate crystals when i see your uh, that is pentahydrate when i see that particular crystal in the lab it is blue in color so grade 10 you have done you have taken the copper sulfate crystals that is your cuso4 dot 5h2o that is water of crystallization isn't it this is called water of crystallization so this water of crystal because of this water of crystallization this particular crystal is appearing blue in color this is the color is blue now suppose when you heat it right and you find some moisture coming out of the test tube and finally you find copper sulfate which remained as a white colored salt in the test tube so this becomes when it you when you heat it this loses that five water molecule and it has become colorless now what are you observing from this the presence of the ligand is imparting color to the uh, copper sulfate crystal so with this concept let us come back and do one example so now I'm going to take a complex which remember whichever color it absorbs the complementary color is what you see right so now if I have if I'm taking nickel right uh, your uh, with water because water only is imparting color I'm going to take nickel with water hexadentate so means uh, six ligands the coordination not hexadentate six coordination number not hexadentate please so coordination number six water molecule and plus three charge here what happens to this i am going to add ethylene diamine a chelating ligand so this is nothing but ch2 nh2 ch2 nh2 done this is aqueous now what's going to happen this ethylene diamine is going and replacing water molecule let us see the change in color i said if water is there it's blue in color but if water is not there it is colorless now here also is the same story here what am i going to do i'm going to take en and I, here with this en i'm going to take uh, how many sites we have you have two sites isn't it one side here one side here so when this is going and packing nickel what happens initially the color of nickel was much green color done when en is occupying its position you're going to get nickel water so how many sites two sites isn't it so for that two have to be replaced out so two will attack total should be six right so nickel uh, water becomes four your en is entering here plus three is still there and two water molecules are out because it has to balance isn't it four plus two sides so six coordination number six now the color of the complex from green now gradually it goes to the complementary color it becomes pale blue because complementary color is set now to this complex now i'm going to take that complex further and i'm going to again add one more ligand ethylene diamine now what happened here two sides here two sides four donor sites are there so what will happen one more water molecule comes out so this becomes water so out of four just observe carefully <coughs> total should be six isn't it now suppose if i have to, to add two ens if i make this two h2o's now observe how many sites do we have here total four so it should be only two come back now this pale blue will become like you know uh, a blue color blue or if i have to say uh, violet or a prominent uh, blue not dark blue it's a prominent blue color uh, complex now further if i have to take now see the color what's going to happen now further when i take this water right now en2 plus 3 right now how much is this two i'm going to add one more ethylene diamine molecule kill that like and rather so now what happened this is going to come and occupy now gradually your water molecule observe carefully now this becomes en3 now how many sides do we have en3 three to the six so completely your water is eliminated from the complex and you get en3 and your water is out now let us count three to the six six 
टू फोर सिक्स सिक्स सो एवरीथिंग इज बैलेंस इज इंटेड ना फ्रॉम ब्लू द कलर ऑफ दिस कम्स बैक टू इट गोज टू वाइलेट सो आई आर यू नॉट फाइनिंग द डिफरेंस दिस वॉज ब्लू दिस इज पेल ब्लू Yeah, this is green. So whenever you are taking out ligand from that, or whenever you are taking out water from that, the change in the, the effect of that water of crystallization is, or water is prominently seen in its color. And when you match, or when we see the uh, range of this, or the wavelength of this in the spectrum, you can clearly see what is the intensity of this water molecule, or what is the importance of the water molecule in this complex ligand.